We have an inquiry from AFC Wrexham. Just got a call from their new owners, showbiz magnates Rob McAlini and Ryan Reynolds. I can't tell if them buying the club is a joke or not, so I haven't replied to them yet. <laughs> Hello and welcome. As you probably saw from the title, I am doing Ted Lasso Goes to Wrexham. And to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm an American who probably knows nothing about football managers. So I'm going to be learning. Uh, I did get a chance to set up Ted Lasso. I made him a Sunday League player because I couldn't do anything that was just American. He's super motivating, doesn't know much about the game. But here we are hopping right in. We have Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds hired Ted Lasso to help out Wrexham. Let's see how this goes. So starting off, I did what Ted would probably do, which is go to our assistant coach. I didn't create Coach Beard, but I'm going to take the advice of Steve Parkin here, and I'm going to use our uh, counter fluid attack with a 4 2 3 one DMAM wide. I don't really know what that means, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take selection advice here and have them create the team. I'm sure that I'll be perfectly fine. We'll have a great time. I'm just here to motivate and hopefully see about coaching these people. We do have one rule here with the media. We are always going to answer positive. We have to be positive about whatever this is whatever we're doing, and no matter the case, Ted is always positive. The only thing I could see about flexing a little bit is maybe shift to a neutral if it's not too mean, or if there were ever any questions where they tried to get me to talk bad about a player and I can convince them or anything like that, that we're working on it and this person's just great. I will absolutely not be talking bad about any other coaches or gaffers or whatever they call them. First impression of the game so far, there's a lot of interviews that I got to do. I got to introduce myself and then coming up to the match, we got to talk about how great Wrexham's going to be. And, you know, Ollie Palmer is definitely one of our best players. We may want to go ahead and skip some of these. Maybe Park and we'll take some of the assistant duty up uh, and talk to the... Uh, people here i don't know if we got a good relationship with the media but again how, how bad could it be we're just staying positive you know we're ready to go this is what we've been waiting for working for you know all good to go oh we have nason wilson somebody's already found friendly we have our own trent crim trent crim the independent i'm sure we'll win him over perfectly fine we don't got to worry about that Max is doing great here, so we want to get right into it. We want to praise, you know, we want to give the best possible motivation that we can. Coming up, we got a match. I'm just going to take all the suggestions, do it, do it, and then maybe get some selection advice. It looks like nothing is different, so we're just going to go about it and start our first game as the coach of Wrexham. Now, I believe before the match, we get another chance to give a pep talk here talk into the dressing room here uh we want to make sure that they know it's important we make full use of home advantage and we go out there and get the result that we want i think that's something that ted would say you know we're at the home crowd he loves his hometown and you know that's universal home field advantage is the same doesn't matter uh oh, we're gonna skip all this we're gonna Turn on just extended eh, key highlights. We're going to make the highlights go faster, and then we're going to see how this goes. And let's see. I mean, maybe turn on some sounds. Who knows? Uh, we're just waiting for the... Oh, we got a highlight early on. Oh, and just like that, Ollie Palmer with a header. That wasn't bad at all. I don't think we need to see it twice. We need to rub it in their face. We're... We're, we're Ted Lasso, we're humble here. And just like that, we had another goal, actually. So we went up 2-0, or 2-0. Uh, I don't know why. It is 2-0 for you guys, I don't know. Uh, but Ollie Palmer definitely holding on to the team. 
after we had this, we did get to halftime where we got a chance to speak to the team again. We want to just go ahead and reassure them, make sure that they know they're doing well, keep it going. And uh, just like that, we were able to stay ahead 2-0. So nice work, everybody. That was good. Uh, that's our first match. Currently, we are 1-0 as the coach of Wrexham. Uh, if you want to see more, please go ahead and like, follow, subscribe. I'll be doing more of this. And don't forget, you're doing everything right today, and you matter. Goodbye.